Hey guys, what's going on today? I am coming to you with the uh, X-Wings Wave 9 uh, Shadowcaster Expansion Pack Unboxing. So we just got this thing today. We're gonna cut open all this plastic and rip this sucker open. Now this is from Star Wars Rebels. This is Ketso Onyo's ship, as seen on Star Wars Rebels. For the Scum and Villainy faction. This is the first ship that has a special new type of turret that uh, is called a mobile firing arc and as an action you get to move it and it's the first thing of its kind to see x -Men. and so it's very uh, very cool um, all right so here is the ship now this thing is about as wide as the ghost but only about as half as long we have a lot of really nice paint detail in this thing though here's the uh, underside Really pretty. I can see. I can see a lot of people wanting to paint this with different schemes, though, because you got a big flat surface right here. So I think a lot of customization is going to happen once people get their hands on this ship. Let's see what else we get in here. We've got got our rules insert. We're talking about tractor beams and the mobile firing arc. If you want to read everything about the mobile firing arc, there it is. This has, ship has a new action where you can rotate your mobile firing arc. The rotate arc icon okay and then we've got uh, mission 16 over here if you play the missions and then there is the uh the dial for it lots and lots of green so that's cool all right let's get our base we'll do that later let's look at we're gonna pull out the cardboard and the uh the cards here first all right so First thing you'll notice when you look at the ship bases is that it, at first it might look a little bit like a fire spray with the auxiliary arc, but this, these lines actually aren't representing an auxiliary arc, it's just separating it into the four different mobile arcs. So um, there's not a back arc, it's actually you know front, side, side, and back. And then we've got our four different pilots right there. And if you notice, Sabine is here. So for Sabine, I believe, is now the first um, cross-faction pilot that appears well no no Boba Fett was never mind I don't know what I'm talking about so he's the first rebel to go to the uh, to the scum there we go maybe that's that's probably right and we've got our dial here which we've already looked at okay and we've got some of the mission tokens and of course we got this beautiful beautiful token here and this is uh, I'm gonna take we're gonna this is gonna be referenced by one of the other upgrade cards and then here is a little mobile firing arc Doohickey. All right, and here we're just going to, uh, we have our base assembled, and this goes right on over the top here. And, you know, for your action, you just rotate it, and it slides nice and easy. Um, might slide a little too easy, perhaps, so I think that's something you'll have to take care of during, during gameplay. And then, there it is. Like that. So I'm going to set those aside, because we're going to need those later. All right. Oh, now that's better. That's better. All right. So let's see what we have. Let's see what we have here. So let's look at our pilots first. So we're going to start with Ketso Onyo. At the start of the combat phase, you may choose a ship at range one. If it's inside your primary and your mobile firing arcs, assign a tractor beam token. So this this kind of in, encourages you to keep people in arc in, in, in your front arc. So if you have them both, and if you're not using the turret, you get to, basically if you're keeping it forward, then you get to assign a tractor beam token to somebody. Reducing their agility, you know, kind of a hunter. Okay. Asajj Ventress. We are seeing Clone Wars keep, on, they just keep on creeping into this game. Either that or she's going to show up in Rebel Season 3 or, or something like that. Um... At the start of the combat phase, you may choose a ship at range 1 to 2. If it's inside your mobile firing arc, assign a stress token to it. So that's just going to be extremely useful, right? Because uh, she's pilot skill 6, she's got the EPT, so she can go up to 8. And, you know, you're going to have a pretty easy time assigning stress there because you're going to uh, you're gonna point it at an enemy ship anyway. This ship is also, by the way, you notice the double illicit on this ship? Isn't that awesome? All right. And all, they all have it. And double illicit is just sick. There's just so many combinations that you're going to be able to come up with that. This is the first ship to have double illicit, so that's very cool. 
Um, all right, Sabine. When defending against an enemy ship inside your mobile firing arc at range one to two, you may add an evade result. I'm sorry, a, a focus result to your roll, an eyeball result rather. So very very cool. Um, extra defensive. She's got two agility already. So as long as she's pointed at the enemy, as long as she sees you coming, uh, it's going to be extra hard to kill her. So this is a character you're obviously probably always going to want to focus with. All right. Um, and then we have our generic at only 33 points. So you could fit three of these guys in a list right there, you know, 100 point list. And uh, no special ability there for the generic. Okay. Um, and now, okay, so we've got cargo and the debris cloud. Here are the tokens for them. And dropping the cargo here is basically you use the one template right behind your ship. And uh, it's treated almost exactly the same as a debris cloud, uh, except that it's something you just don't deploy that you, you set there. So it counts as an obstacle. Um, you roll damage and take damage if there's a crit, if you cross it, and it gives you a stress. So uh, virtually the same as a debris cloud, except it's one that you can drop. All right, so let's look at what we have here. We've got veteran instincts. We've seen that already. It's a nice size, but there's another place to get it. We've got some uh, Ketsu Onyo Crew, scum only, one point at the start of the end phase. Uh, at the start of the end phase, you may choose one enemy ship inside your firing arc at range 1 to 2. Uh, that ship does not remove its tractor beam tokens. So that's pretty cool. So she has a lot of synergy with what scum already has. Uh, scum already has some tractor beam stuff. So you could maybe put her on well, with Zuckus or you know with a Mist Hunter. That would be cool too. Lats Razzi. I didn't know Lats Razzi was female. Mm -hmm. Scum only. When defending, you may remove a stress token from the attacker to add an evade result to your roll. So that's kind of interesting. And that's like another reason you might not want to be stressed. I mean, I granted, you know, if you're going up against a Lats Razzi crew, then they can... Uh, survive your attack but they'll de-stress you I mean it's it's interesting it you know Tycho probably wouldn't like her because he doesn't care so very cool stuff um, black market slicer tools and this is an illicit action uh, choose a stressed enemy ship at range one to two and roll an attack die on a hit or crit result remove one stress token and deal it a face down damage card that's pretty cool so like stress has you know stress is a big theme with this one we have two of those um, all right Rigged cargo shoot. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. All right. Large ship only. Action. Discard this card to drop one cargo token. And that is this cargo token. So you want to drop stuff in front of people and have a lot of fun with that. That's going to be, I think, one of the more fun things to do with this. Not just this ship, but you can do this with a lot of ships. <coughs> All right, next up is Countermeasures. Well, we've seen this one already. It's a nice, there's another place to get it. We see the Gyroscopic Targeting. And this is the, uh, this is for the Lancer Craft Pursuit, or Lancer Class Pursuit Craft only. At the end of the combat phase, if you executed a three, four, or five speed maneuver this round, you may rotate your mobile firing arc. So it lets you do this for free instead of having to take an action to do it. Then we've got Tactical Jammer. We've seen this one already, and it's excellent. Oh, and we have two copies of it. And then, of course, the Shadowcaster title. Um, and after you perform an attack, it's a three-point title, so it's kind of expensive. After you perform an attack that hits, if the defender's in your mobile firing arc and at range one to two, you may assign the defender a tractor beam token. So, um, IG-88D, you have the pilot ability of each friendly ship with the IG-2000 upgrade card in addition to your own pilot ability. So... Um, you know, they made it D specifically here, so you would be able to fly the IG-88D pilot if you were going to use this crew somewhere else, but now this is a great, I'm really anxious to see what kind of combos everybody's going to come up with to spread out IG-88, like maybe some, you know, Boba Fett with cannons getting the IG-88B double cannon shot, that could be a thing, you never know, um, but yeah, that's, uh, let me know what kind of crazy IG-88 combos you guys are going to come up with for this. But what do you think? Uh, have you picked up your Shadowcaster yet? And what do you think, guys? Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to get all the latest uh, unboxings and uh, X-Wing news. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.